Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of why you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can can and a can can, a can can, a can can, and a wheel. Now we're off to. Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. And you can see we're going to be talking about Megan, her husband, and none other than guess who, y'all? Who trying to step up and tell us what he did for them that we didn't know about. Honey, we talking about Tyler Perry and Oprah. 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 Okay. From OWN TV. Yes, honey. I was like, what What do they got to do with this? You know what I'm saying? We talking about British royal people. Megan put herself in that situation. She wanted to marry him. She had to have some idea of the structure the brute force structure they go through. Okay? She had to have known. I mean, anybody have a clue? Look at Diana, Prince of Wales at the time, way back when. And we saw what happened to her towards the end, right? Megan, you gonna keep on? <laughs> you gonna keep on, girl? <sighs> but you're not scared of paparazzi. Diana was scared and... Uh, I guess her soon to be husband, uh, Do what is it, Doed, Dottie? I don't forgot the man's name, okay? But I think it's Dodie Defiad or something like that. But, um, yeah. But what is Tyler Perry got to do with them? It's not adding up, y'all. It's not adding up at all. Okay? Other than they could be a part of the elite and the new program, they having structured for us called the new world order okay and i'm pretty sure old oh, first hand is in it somewhere her and gail tyler will chris rock just to name a few but this is something for y'all to you know think about from here and there when you got downtime you know what i'm saying let your mind just wander and just Put the pieces together and see how they come up, okay? But uh, Samantha Ibrahim, Ibram wrote this article out today. Mm -hmm. And she uh, she um, categorized it or she titled it, Tyler Perry Recalls Meghan Prince Harry Difficult Time with Royal Family Drama. Okay? In everybody's family. I don't care if you're royalty or you're just a peasant. Or you're just an individual living life and you have a family. Family do get on your nerves from time to time. But American Western individuals, we tend to just sell it at however you want to sell it with different family members. Or, you know, if one person or if several people is just making chaotic type situations every time they see them, then, yeah, they're going to be dealt with where they don't get called to come out to family gatherings. However... With the royal family is something totally and utterly different. Okay, we all slept Chris, and it ain't nothing happened to him. He went on and got an Oscar, went to the Oscar party, party hardy, okay, and, and lived his life. Next day, he went over across the country to uh, be with the sheiks, okay, the Irad people. I think it was. I think he went so well, I can't remember where he went, but it's it's far it's in another country. All right. Where he could just meditate and get himself together. But they want to call Lil Megan the troublemaker. She comes in there with her Hollywood ideas and how she wants to revamp, modernize the culture of the Queen and the royal court. And Queen Elizabeth said, not on my hair and my chinny chin chin. When you do this, you might can try to get ready 
uh, you might try to get away with it when I'm dead and gone. But as soon as I, I'm here, I'm the mother hubba sitting in the cupboard, okay? You ain't finna touch nothing up in here. All right? So there is some distance. There is some tra uh, traumatic experiences I guess all of them go through. Especially Kate. Because she was a losing a lot of weight back then. And I will venture to say some of her hair looked like it was getting thinner up there. And that uh, happens when you're in a situation where your job is very stressful. Or you live and work in a uh, very stressful uh, environment. But to me, she seems very happy. You know, she got a boy and a girl. How could you ask for anything more? They did the little talk session um, with Oprah Winfrey. I didn't ever catch any of it because I could care less about what they were going through. You know what I'm saying? Basically, Megan is trying to say, you know, we need to live over here. I'm not going to raise my children the way uh, y'all were raised. This, that, and the third. Whatever argument she could be making uh, to Harry. But again, one time again, we're going to go back through this. Okay? Harry was born into royalty. He was groomed for the royal court. Who told him to marry an outside person that knows nothing about the comings and goings on what a prince is expected to do for his country, the queen, and how her position affects everybody, you know, in each uh, country, surrounding countries, whatever. We must listen to the queen on all the countesses. Then you got his brother over there mad because I guess he wants to be prince. He didn't want his daddy to, you know, get up there. I guess he was hoping his daddy would pass away and then he could just surrender himself on into the throne. But technically, uh, King Charles, Prince Charles, however you want to look at him, or just Charles, he said he in charge. And whatever goes, goes. Whoever he has to order around and possibly fire, he's going to do so. Okay, because this is his world. He rocking it now. Mama gone. So, <sighs> Harry knows a lot of influential people. So does Oprah. But I just feel it's something bigger that we can't see now. But that we will be seeing it sooner rather than later. But it's just like Tyler Perry just everywhere trying to save hoes and shit. You know how to say save a hoe? He trying to save everybody out there. Okay? Because I'm telling you, uh, Megan can go for a white woman. She really can. Because I don't see her trying to stay in the sun and get tanned and browned and gold and all that kind of stuff. So maybe in her mind, she really wants to be uh, lily white. It just is what it is. Because she definitely don't wear no... I want to say black girl makeup. You know what I'm saying? She she ain't into Fenty. She ain't into Clinique. She ain't into, uh, what is it called? Radiance. I forgot what it's called. Black Radiance. She's not into, um, what's the other makeups uh, out there? I mean, she's just like plain Jane. You see what I'm saying? She Everything's just really pale on her. She's not trying to get one of those model type looks unless... She's walk, r walking down somebody's runway. But she's not with the royal stiffness, the clothes, the uh, little officer walk you got to do. It. How they be like shoe pushing it. Like swish, swish, swish. They weren't picking up no legs. They were just swishing everywhere. Y'all notice that? I said, damn, they act like they on a snow, uh, uh, a snow slope. A snow slope. They just needed the, um, the little... We call those things this not the skis, but the the thing you be pushing it with the poles or whatever. Y'all know where I'm going with it. But uh, yeah, I just find it very interesting that Tyler Perry had his hands in whatever feud or struggle that Megan and Harry are going through with Roy Court. <clears throat> okay. Mm-hmm. But anyway, we're going to get into it. It says, uh, the Medea character had allowed the Duke and Duchess of Sussex 
to reside at his Los Angeles mansion in 2020. Now, he wasn't living there with him. He had to come back to Atlanta and, you know, get some plays or some, I don't know, going on at his studio, okay? So it was like a safe house for them. The world was shocked when Meghan Markle and Prince Harry made the decision to step back from the British royal family in early 2020. Now, when you step back or you give up your rights to be, you know, entitled to uh, do a certain thing in your country or, or whatever, you lose all those benefits. You see what I'm saying? But Harry and uh, Meghan wanted to keep the titles, okay? Like, they can float in both worlds. And from what I'm learning about the British culture, you're either going to be British or you're going to be something else. But you're not going to come in here and try to make it your own. Diana tried to do that. Look what happened. Okay, I'm just saying. The actor Tyler Perry first gave them sanctuary, and now he's getting candid on the toll the move took on them. It was a very difficult time for them, Perry 53 explained, during a recent appearance on Today with Hoda and Gina. The Medea character went on, What I know about the two of them that I wish the world knew is how much they love. These two people love each other. Well, we never doubted that. Well, we might have thought of, you know, doubted here and there with Megan loving Harry. But we, ne we never doubted that Harry chose the woman he wanted to be with for the rest of his life. Because we know he was all out there sowing seeds and all this, you know, messing with other different women and stuff. He just got tired. When he saw Megan, he said, okay, I'm going to settle down. This is the one I want. This is the one I want to be with. And we said, make this shit happen, okay? Because she's a go-getter. They found each other out of all these odds against them finding each other. They found each other. The love that they have is really, really moving. And I just wanted to do anything I could to support them. He continued, if I don't have that, what she and Harry have, I don't want it. That's really amazing. The Invictus Games found the 38 and the former actress 41 moved into the entertainment's Mongols 18 million pad in May 2020 located in Los Angeles. They set up house at Paris Mansion while he was out of town in Atlanta to restart production at his studio to work on his next project. <coughs> Shortly after their move, the couple also hired the Alex Cross star security detail to help them through the new transition. The lovebirds were reportedly introduced to Perry by mutual friend Oprah Winfrey. Marco revealed in a recent interview with The Cut how Perry reached out to her in 2019. Perry phoned her to tell her that he was praying for her and that he understood what this meant, referring to her large role in the royal family. He couldn't only imagine what it was like, Marco recalled, adding that he advised her to call him if she ever needed support. Sometimes you can tell your life story to a stranger on a plane as opposed to some of the people that are closest to you, she said. The couple later brought their own home in Montecito, California, where they now live with their two children, Lilibeth Diana and Archie Harrison. Perry has stayed women. Perry has stayed pals with the duo and even paid tribute to Marco on her birthday last month <coughs> with a heartwarming Instagram post. I found a front row seat in your life for the past few years. I had a front row seat in your life for the past few years. I've watched you endure things that would have broken a lot of people. The New Orleans native captioned a photo of Marco playing kissing the hand of her young girl. I'm so incredibly proud to see how happy you, your husband, and your kids are now. It fills me with joy to say happy birthday, Princess Megan. Okay. Mm hmm. I thought she was the Duke of Sussex. I mean, the Duchess of Sussex. Yep, 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 yep. What y'all thought about that, y'all? Y'all think some fish, y'all think some fish is some clean ain't in the milk? I mean, why you going to try to get teamed up with Tyler and Oprah? Like, they going to fight your battles for you. Nope, they sure are not. They let Oprah and Tyler know just as much as they want them to know about the royal court. But they probably really haven't seen how they get down when they start to shut somebody down because they're tired of them. <coughs> 
And I wonder did Marco, did Megan have that talk with her father-in-law? Okay, but we're going to catch up on that story. We're going to try to find it and come on the tube and let's talk about it. Let's talk about what I read, what you saw on the screen, and your opinions about it, if you have any. Because it's optional. You don't have to uh, put your comments down in the comment section if you don't feel like it. But if you just had something to say, not about me, not how I presented it, but what you saw and you heard. Okay? All right? And I'll see y'all next video. Bye-bye.